Hello and welcome. It's so nice to see you joined me. In this lesson, we will be looking at how to edit a music template in Canva for music teachers. This lesson is from the course Creating Music with Canva. I will leave a link in the description box for more details. Together, we're going to practice how you can access your music template in Canva, create, save, and share your music design. We're going to practice working with Canva in this order. Music template access, adding a background to your music template, adding your music studio information to your music template, and finally, how to save and share your music template. So if we haven't met before, I'm Monta Monique. I'm a multi-passionate certified K-12 music teacher. My first passion is providing music printables and resources for music creatives just like you. And my second passion is helping music teachers easily transition to teaching group piano music lessons online. Don't forget to snag your free 100-day practice challenge, and I will leave a link below in the description box. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. So you're probably looking at a screen something similar to this, and there's a few things on this um, download that you should be aware of. So obviously to begin accessing your music template, you're going to want to look for something that says here with an underline, that's where we'll access the template, and we'll do that in just a second. But I want to draw your attention to something. If you are unfamiliar with Canva, you can open a free account. Uh, there, uh, you can just go to canva.com or there's a link here. Uh, and also you can try the Canva Pro free account for 30 days here. So we're going to start with um, how you can access your music template. So click here where it's underlined and the first screen you'll see will look something like this. Now, the most important feature of this screen is the area where it says use template. So it's at the bottom of your screen, it's purple. You're going to want to click on that. And once you click on that, you will have access to the template. Now, I'm actually in, in a free account um, through another one of my emails because I want to make sure whether you're using the free Canva or the Pro, uh, we have access to all the same thing. So again, I'm in the free account. You can do everything that I do. So here you have the template and you will see copy. And this means that this is your copy. Uh, you can manipulate it. You can design it, do whatever you need to do to fit for your music studio. So one thing I like to do is I like to start by adding elements and uh, let's go ahead and click on uh, under lines and shapes. You can click on the triangle and it will populate the triangle for you. Now, it's going to pick a color, maybe it's a color, I think I used this color before, but you can click on the color and you have all the default colors. You can add a color that matches your studio color. So let's say your studio color is pink. So we've clicked on the image of the square and what we're going to do is we're going to actually lay it over the music image and then we're going to click on position and we're going to click backward and that puts the image on top so that's one option in terms of a background if you want to do um, something different than pink you can type in let's say we want to add um, let's say we want to add a uh, star so i've typed typed in star pattern and here are all the options now if you have a free account if you see something that says pro this is obviously just for the people that have the pro account but there are so many different amazing options so let's choose something really fun let's choose um let's choose here's a star pattern let's click on this pattern and you see it will come up here on your screen and what I like to do is I like to, sometimes I like to keep the color sometimes I like to change it um, you can actually maybe add some stars here you can get that lower so many different options let's say you want to change the color of the stars to pink now they're pink um, let's say you want to add stars to the background so let's position this to the 
backward and we're going to overlay this so you can still have the stars peeping through but they're not covering up the actual music um, image so there are so many different options and there's one other thing you can do as well um, if you have a picture of a student for example you can upload a picture of a student um, I don't have any pictures of students up here at the moment um, but you can easily do that and you can add a picture um, anywhere that you like so much fun so the next thing I want to share with you is how to add some text so in order to add some text and I want to zoom in a little bit here so you have the teacher name so you're going to add your name or if you have a cohort of teachers you can add the names the date of the award as well as the student's name so it, this is very simple to do um, so you're going to click on text and you can choose there's so many different texts that you can choose from so let's do let's click add a subheading and right here you can click on this arrow down and again everything that doesn't have a little crown that's not pro is free so there are just so many different options that you can choose from um, let's choose this one just for fun so all you're going to do is click here and you can click T and that will bring up the text so you can add a subheading so you're going to position that where you want your student's name to be and then you can simply type your student's name so let's type a student's name um, let's see so I've typed in a student's name and then you can do the same thing uh, you can also change the font size so in order to add font you just press the letter T and it will bring up more text for you you can see down here again you can if you want to add uh, your name in a different font you can do that as well so you can go up here pick um, let's pick that font and then you can type your name I'll just put music teacher and here I'm just going to add uh, the date just any date and then uh, in order to move the date you just click and drag and you can put it right above the date of award now here's the great thing let's say you have different students um, and they're in different classes and you want to just make a simple copy of this but you want to change the name all you have to do is click the little duplicate page here and it will make a copy of the page and then all you have to do is go in and change the name so you can see here I've changed the name and leave the music teacher and the date of award the same. You can go in and change the color if you like. All turns to blue. So many different options. So the final part is how do you actually share your um, music template with your students with your music studio it's really easy uh, there are many different options in canva but i'm going to simply walk you through the easiest way so you're going to click on share and all you have to do is find where it says download click on download and under file type find where it says pdf print now there are two pdfs there's the standard which is a decent quality again it depends on your printer or if you're having it professionally printed and then there's the pdf high quality print now if you are actually handing these awards out in person i would suggest the pdf high quality click on that um, make sure that you have the page selected that you want to print so for example here i have multiple pages that i've made but for this uh, for this particular student I only want to uh, print the first page so make sure that you've only clicked that page because you can see here I have multiple pages so let's go back to share click on download click on PDF high quality print make sure I'm only printing page one and then when you click done click download and it will automatically download to your computer Okay. And you can see here at the very edge of my computer, it's popped up um, as download. So really easy to do. And yeah, that's all you have to do in terms of how to edit your music template in Canva. 
Ready to take your technique to the next level? For more info, click here or copy and paste this link into your browser. Join us in the Easy Play Piano Club for weekly live lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. For more music videos, subscribe to Move Over Mozart.